without further ado, we proudly present Snow White, the Witch, the Dwarves, and the Zombie. No matter what happens, 
Promise me that you'll keep our daughter Snow White away from my sister. But does your sister have the right to see her beautiful niece? You don't know Priscilla like I do, Alphonse. She may be beautiful, but she's also very evil and always has been. Now, now, I think you're being too critical. I know she watches too much balance on television and likes to make secret potions and eat some weird things, but she must love animals. She's got lots of pets. No, you don't understand. She uses spells to make those programs violent. And her secret potions are mostly poisonous, and she eats all those pets she keeps. Come forth! Oh, 
Oh, I'm not ready for that. And besides, I have to marry a noble woman. Look, Alphonse, I know Lewis yeah. Lewis has told you many things about me. And I understand she was jealous, but I always like to admire you because you're so handsome. Oh, thank you, Priscilla. I know Lilith is hard on you, but I wish Lilith is very beautiful as well. Oh, Alphonse, I've always dreamed. Hello, Father. Oh, my dear Snow White. Hello, Priscilla. Oh, look at you, Snow White. You're so grown up and pretty in your own way. Thanks. Father, my classmates and I have been practicing a dance, and we like to perform it for you and dear Aunt Priscilla. Well, that's so kind. I'd love to hear it, but I have to speak with your father about Oh, don't worry, Aunt Priscilla. It's not long. Hit it, kids. Princess Snow White will 
be the heart of town. <clears throat> what are you saying? You heard me, Queenie baby. <laughs> when she's all grown up, look out for Princess Hardy. <laughs> That's impossible. She grew up to look just like her mother. Pretty for nothing compared to me. Okay, okay, don't get mad at me. Hush, mirror, mirror on the wall. 
London at the same time. And what if you did it anyway? Well, technically speaking, if someone dies and then rises out of the grave, we could say that they are un compared to those who are still, theoretically, otherwise, truly dead. Yeah. 
And besides, look at the C3. They've just moved into place. Oh, yeah, well, the force it is. I brought our farm. Nothing, nothing, except I'm so tired of the same old greens. Spinach and lettuce, lettuce and spinach, spinach and... Okay, okay, but well, let's not go too far. I promise the boys will respect their forest. Oh, I hope to see the dwarves today. I don't, whatever you do, all they want to do is talk and eat. I'm so tired of their mining stories. And the last time they had it, they invited us to dinner. We had to, we had to eat the old defense too. Yuck! Oh, it wasn't that bad, except the close kept getting fine between my teeth. And I think your stories are... Oh, that was the course now. Come on, Fern, let's hide. Hi, don't be silly. Come on, Fern, please. I really want to get home in time for the wall tonight. Oh, you and that silly game show. All right, but not for long.
White. Pleased to meet you. Snow White. What kind of name is that? It's a princess kind of name. Oh, princess? Yes, uh, I'm afraid so. A princess without a kingdom or any place to go to at the moment. And why is that Snow White? Well, boys, as I understand it, her stepmother, Queen Priscilla, had the zombies kidnap her and... They were going to destroy her, but a cute zombie named Nipple set her free. Firm. There's no such thing as a cute zombie.
dishes aren't getting any cleaner. Well, now, here's the famous Dumble Snore, which says, Snow White's heading for me. We'll see about that. Who is it? Oh, it's just a neighbor in front of the dwarves. They asked me to check in on him. Oh, hello, dear lady. I'm Snow White. And I'm your neighbor, Chris.
yes, you are pretty cute. You know, almost as cute as my fern. And my nipple. Fern. No, 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 it's all wrong. I'll fix you. <laughs> 